In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to integrate Go High Level with a website that was not built in Go High Level. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I have an amazing free offer for you. All right, so you might be asking, why would you wanna integrate a non Go High Level website with the Go High Level software? And the reason for that is because many of the forms and the calendars and the chat widgets and different things like that, we can use to trigger automations inside of Go High Level, which is where the marketing magic happens. And so I'm inside of my sub account right here. I'm gonna go down to automations and I'm just gonna show you an example of a quick automation that we might use on our website connected to, let's say a form on our website. So I'm just gonna hit start from scratch and then I'm going to trigger an event to happen and so let's say we want to trigger off of a form being submitted on our website and then we can select from our different forms by selecting form is and then we can select i'm just going to do this discovery call claim form for now i'm going to jump back out of this automation really quick and i'm going to well first i'll name it form on website and then i'm going to save it again all right, so real quick, I'll show you guys under your sites tab, you have this form builder and we can go to it. And this is the discovery call claim form. Ask for first name, last name, email, phone number, and then their project description, and then contact us. So it's basically a contact form. You see these on websites all the time. So we just create that form inside of Go High Level. It's really easy to do. You can drag the different fields onto it. Whatever questions you wanna ask, you can customize the look of it. I've customized it to be transparent on its background so that it takes the background of whatever's behind it. Um, and so I did that by going over here and for the background, I just dragged this all the way to transparent and that's why it looks like this. Anyway, once you create this form, you can then trigger off automations like I was showing you when people submit that form. And so after somebody submits a form, we could send them a, an automated text message that says, hey, thanks for submitting our form, blah, blah, blah. And then we can send that to them. And then we could also send them, let's say a quick email and say, you know, hey, thanks for submitting our form on our website. Just wanted to make sure you were helped, blah, blah, blah. Please reach out to us at this number or we'll reach out to you soon, something like that. Anyway, you might wanna do a text, an email, a voicemail, all these different things so that your leads know that they're going to be helped after they fill out this form on your website. Anyway, so that's the reason that you're gonna to wanna to put a form on an external website. Let's say you get a client for your agency and they have a website that was built in Wix or Squarespace or Webflow or WordPress and uh, they still want to use Go High Level, but they're like, we don't want to trash our website and build a completely new website inside of Go High Level, which is something Go High Level can do. You can build websites, but if they already have a website, we don't want to like make them redo their whole website and we still want to be able to use these automations. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back under our form builder and I'm going to select this discovery call claim form and I'm gonna go up here and click integrate and then I'm gonna hit copy embed code. All right, so now I'm gonna jump into another website builder called Webflow. This is a really popular one. You can build really good, clean looking websites with this. And I'm gonna to go to this template that I was just messing around with the other day and show you guys how we can put this form on a Webflow website, even though it's a go high level form, we're gonna put it on a Webflow website. So down at the bottom here, it has this like basic you know, box right here with name, email, address, company, submit. So it has a basic form already, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete all of this stuff inside of here, and we are going to add in our own form from Go High Level, because our form in Go High Level is the one that will be able to trigger the automated text and the automated email that we wanna send to the lead after they fill out the form. And so what we're gonna do, I've deleted this. Let me delete this last part right here. So I have this box right here that used to have another form in it, but we're gonna do the go high level form. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign. This is gonna be different depending on the website builder that you're using, but Webflow is very similar to WordPress and some others. So you'll be able to find something along the lines of an embed box. So I'm gonna drag this out into this box right here. And then a thing will pop up where you can paste in the code of whatever item you're trying to put on the website. So I'm gonna paste in that code from my form inside of Go High Level. This form I copied, I hit integration, copy the embed code, and then we can paste that into our Webflow website. And then when we hit save and close here, so the form doesn't pop up right away. You actually have to publish the website 
for it to work. So now I'm gonna hit publish on our site here. I'm gonna publish to selected domain, just like a fake domain for now. So we can see how this form pops up on this website. And then we're gonna click preview on our site. And if I scroll down to the bottom of this site, we will see that form pops up right here. And if I fill out this form with all of my information and project description and hit contact us, it'll trigger off our automation inside of Go High Level that I was just showing you. And so this is just an easy way to be able to still trigger off your automations even if you're not using a native Go High Level website. Another thing aside from forms that we can embed on websites are going to be calendars. So if we go to our calendars, calendar settings, and then I select, let's say this salon calendar right here, I can go to copy embed code of the calendar and I can also embed this calendar onto this Webflow website. So I'm gonna do that right below here. I'm just gonna click add again over here. I'm gonna find this embed block. I'm gonna put it right below our form and then I'm gonna paste in the code for this calendar. I'm gonna hit save and close. And then I'm gonna republish my site and I'll show you guys now the form will pop up and then underneath it a calendar will pop up where people can book. And that's another thing you can trigger automations off of is a calendar booking. When somebody books an appointment on your website, you can send them an automated text confirmation saying, hey, thanks for booking with us. You can then send them an email. And then like an hour before that appointment is supposed to start, you can send them a reminder text automation. And because you use the Go High Level calendar, see the calendar pops up right here, it'll trigger off of everybody booking here that automation inside of Go High Level. And then last thing I'm going to show you guys how to integrate on a non go high level website is going to be under our sites tab. And then we're going to go up to chat widget right here. And so these chat widgets are the little bubbles at the bottom of a website that say, Hey, text us if you have any questions, I'm just going to copy mine really quick. So you can change it. You can change the intro message that it asks, enable chat bubble. It'll pop up as soon as somebody loads onto the website and uh, you can change the color, the image, all this kind of stuff. After you've changed it, make sure to hit save, and then you can hit get code, and we're just gonna copy the code right here. And this one, we can paste actually anywhere on the website, it doesn't matter where it goes, but we need to do the same thing where we add an embed block here. So I'm just gonna do it above this first form. Cause like I said, it doesn't matter. This one won't show up right here, it'll show up over in the bottom right corner of the site. And I'll show you that real quick. So we're gonna hit save and close and then we'll have to republish the website one more time and then if we preview the site now we have a chat bubble at the bottom and we also have our form and our calendar all of all three of these things are embedded from go high level so they'll be able to trigger off automations even though they're not on a go high level native website well there you have it guys that's how to integrate the go high level software with a non go high level website builder at the beginning of this video i promised you a free surprise at the end of the video for anybody who signs up to my 30-day free trial link for go high level down below i will give you a free website that i built out in webflow I'll show you this example of this chiropractor one right here. These websites are way better than go high level websites. They have way more fade effects like we just saw right here. And then as you scroll down the page, it fades in. This is something that go high level is not great at. And so anyway, this is a chiropractic one, but whatever niche you're planning on reselling go high level to, or just whatever your business niche is, I will build you a website for free inside of Webflow that you can use for yourself or for your agency and sell this to a client. And like I said, I'll do all this completely free if you sign up with my 30 day free trial link to high level down below. Other than that, I appreciate y'all sticking through to the end of this video. I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.